Hello everyone, this is Rakesh here and once again welcome to the my PLSQL tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss the database trigger. In that, we are going to see what exactly the database trigger, why exactly we require the database trigger and at last, I am going to show you the one demo in which I am going to write the database trigger and I am going to execute the same. So that is the thing which we are going to discuss in this session. So let's begin. So guys, let's begin with our today's session and let's understand what exactly the database trigger is. So guys, as the our uh, normal trigger, as we have seen in the, our previous video, it's the same like the same trigger, just the event has been changed over here. Okay, earlier we have seen the DML trigger, instead of trigger, DDL trigger, all these triggers we have seen, correct? So in that case, what is happening? In that case, uh, uh, DML trigger will be get triggered in case of the DML activity, instead of trigger will be get active uh, will be get uh, triggered in case of the dml activity if it is executing on the uh, view and uh, in case of the ddl trigger we have seen if any ddl statement happen in the our schema or database then the ddl uh, trigger will be get executed so over here as the name indicate database trigger will be get executed upon the database event and database event can be your log on log off uh, maybe database shutdown or maybe database uh, error in these cases this database event will be get executed okay so let's understand the typical definition of the database event trigger uh, sorry database uh, trigger so what exactly the database trigger is so database trigger is nothing but it is again a store program which will get executed upon the database event and database event can be your log on log off database shutdown database <coughs> some error so this kind of uh, activity happens in the my database uh, then uh, my trigger will be get executed automatically so let's understand this with the help of one example so let's say for example <coughs> i wanted to uh, monitor uh, all the uh, users or i wanted to have uh, the information who all logged in in the this database and that information i wanted to store in certain table maybe let's say for example the schema audit table i wanted to store so how you can achieve this you can achieve this with the help of database event trigger so in that what exactly happen uh, as soon as anybody logged in into the any database okay then this trigger will be get automatically will get executed so that is nothing but your database event trigger okay uh, so I hope you have understood what exactly the database trigger is now second question comes in your mind that why exactly we required the database event trigger so guys I just would like to tell over here there are a couple of reasons uh, one of them I will tell you or few of them I will tell you so <clears throat> uh, maybe DBA those who are owning the database uh, their responsibility is to monitor and uh, to take care of the database and to keep the healthy uh, their database okay so for them to have this kind of information in which they monitor that uh, who all the logged in into this database who all uh, uh, shut down the database or what kind of error has been uh, occurred in my database so this kind of monitoring if somebody wants to do then they have to go with the uh, database trigger so that is the reason we require to write the database trigger so guys i hope you have understood what exactly and why exactly we require the database trigger now third thing comes in your mind that how exactly we can write the database trigger so for that we need to understand the syntax so let's go for the syntax So guys, as you can see on the your screen, this is the syntax of the database trigger. So let's understand this uh, syntax, what exactly it says. Okay. So let me begin with the very first line, which is nothing but here, yeah, this one. Okay. Uh, this line. So what exactly this line is over here? So you can see over here, I have written create or replace and then trigger and then trigger name. Okay. So what exactly the create is? Create is nothing but create the trigger. Uh, replay replace keyword uh, will play the role in case of 
uh, if the trigger exists with the same name then it will replace with the whatever the new body i am writing over here it will replace with that okay so that is nothing but your replace it is same like other uh, triggers and uh, procedure and function okay so over here after that i have mentioned the trigger trigger means it is a trigger kind of program and after that you can mention over here whatever the trigger name you wanted to give that you can give over here okay after that over here you can write uh, before and after both you can write it guys over here i missed it over here so you can assume that over here uh, before is there also okay before before uh, word is also there over here okay so that you can mention after that you need to mention the operation so operation can be over here log on log off or database shutdown or some specific error you can mention it over here okay and uh, over here you need to take care uh, since it's a database uh, trigger so over here you need to mention on database okay so that is you need to mention and after that same as it is our previous trigger uh, declare declare begin and then end and inside this you, you can write whatever the logic you wanted to write so in case i wanted to insert the row into the schema audit table uh, in order to get the and store the information then you can write over here some insert statement okay insert statement you can write it so that is nothing but your uh, database uh, trigger syntax okay guys moving on to the next thing which is nothing but your practical session of the database trigger okay so before we write and before i start my practical session i just would like to discuss over here our objective so let's discuss first our objective what exactly we wanted to achieve from our practical program so our objective is nothing but whenever anybody logged in in my uh, database then i wanted to have the one record into the schema audit table so that is nothing but your uh, this table in this table i wanted to have one record and with this information so let me repeat once again what exactly i wanted i wanted that anybody log in into the my database then i wanted to have one record into this table and with this information so that is nothing but your uh, my objective now how i can achieve this objective this objective i can achieve with the help of database trigger so let's write the database trigger so the very first line what we need to write in the trigger so create or replace and then trigger and then trigger name trigger name maybe let's say for example i wanted to write over here my first db trigger okay maybe i will write simply like this and then after that what i need to write i need to write uh, after and then operation i need to mention so let me write over here operation uh, sorry after over here and then operation on which operation i wanted to trigger so i wanted to trigger on the uh, logon event okay after that i need to mention on database that's it and after that declare and begin and end okay so on database okay after that declare begin and then end simply i am done with the uh, database trigger okay now over here i need to write the logic i need to declare some variable over here so that i will copy paste from the my existing uh, trigger okay so what i will do i will simply copy paste from this trigger so that i do not waste time over here to write the uh, this all these stuffs okay so just i will explain over here what exactly i have done over here so i have declared over here some variable and uh, these are already predefined environment variable which i can use in the uh, sql developer and i can uh, take the value of the same into the temporary variable and same temporary variable i am getting inserted over here okay and over here uh, i use the schema audit table but uh let me create this schema audit table over here because schema audit table is not yet created so let me create over here so you can see over here schema audit table is got created okay and uh, now let me compile this uh, trigger hopefully this will be get compiled so i hope it it got compiled so you can see over here uh, trigger got compiled now it's time to execute 
now how you can execute you need to tell me in the comment box okay uh, pause this video and tell me how i can execute in the uh, dml ddl i can execute with the help of the events just like for example uh, in case of the ddl uh, i need to write uh, i need to execute the ddl uh, statement then only then uh, that this trigger will be get executed in case of the dml trigger i need to execute some dml activity then only then <coughs> dml trigger will be get executed but how i will execute this uh, uh, trigger so that you need to tell me in the comment box okay so i hope you have uh, written the your answer so what i exactly i need to do i need to log off this uh, database and then log in so uh, as soon as I will log in, the this trigger will be get uh, triggered. Okay, and one entry I will get into this table. So let me log off. So what I will do? I will simply close this. Okay. Mm, yes, deselect and then shutting down. Okay. So Now over here what I will do, I, I will re-log in over here so that uh, the trigger will be get triggered. Okay, so my password I need to mention. So I have mentioned over here. Now I have logged in. So what uh, could have happened over here in the background that uh, a database trigger got triggered and it could have uh, made the entry into the schema audit table. So let's see whether the entry has been created or not. So hopefully the entry should got created so you can see over here entry got created so it means that it proves that uh, that whatever the trigger i have written that got executed because just uh, uh, right now we have created this table correct so there is no way to have this record over here so as soon as i log it in this uh, entry can, can uh, that uh, trigger got executed and that trigger have inserted the row into this over here so you can see over here date on which date 23rd today is also 23rd so you can see over here who is the user system is a user what is the object uh, ob uh, object created log on okay and then these are the information is not coming properly so that i can rectify it okay so this is how you can uh, trigger the uh, database trigger and i hope you have understood uh, what exactly the database trigger is so let me summarize what exactly the database trigger is so database trigger is nothing but it will be get executed on the database events and uh, <coughs> database events can be your log on log off uh, database shutdown okay or maybe some kind of weird error okay in that cases this will be get triggered okay and why exactly we required the database trigger because i want may i may want it to uh, monitor my database who all the person has been logged on log off uh, how many how much time they have logged in or what is the error came into the, my database so maybe that is the reason uh, we can write the uh, database trigger and generally this kind of trigger will write by the dba because they wanted to monitor the database okay so that's all for the day and uh, i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching for the video bye bye take care